Are you wondering how to get into the Mayo Medical School? Mayo is focused on small class sizes, high patient to student ratios, flexible electives, and world-class research opportunities make it a perennial dream school for many medical school applicants. However, with an overall medical school acceptance rate of 1.4%, the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine is among the most exclusive MD programs in the country. In this video, we will cover all of the necessary information to make your application to Mayo Medical School stand out. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you would like us to help you get into Mayo Medical School, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Here's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Academic programs, academic curriculum, admission statistics and eligibility, recommended courses, selection factors, interview format, and acceptance and waitlist information. By the way, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions, so comment below for a chance to win. Mayo Medical School is incredibly competitive. However, with the right tools, you can increase your chances of acceptance significantly. I'll explain towards the end, so keep watching to find out. Let's begin. Available Programs The Mayo Clinic's Alex School of Medicine's MD is a four-year program structured around two years of pre-clerkship curriculum, followed by a year of core clinical clerkship, and finally, a fourth year focusing on sub-internships and rotations. Mayo maintains small class sizes, ensuring that students are able to cultivate close relationships with faculty and receive careful supervision. MD students are given the opportunity to customize their educational experience by choosing which of Mayo Clinic's Alex School of Medicine's three training locations fit their plans best. The Mayo Medical School's MD-PhD program gives students training to become world-class physician scientists using a flexible curriculum. Like many joint MD-PhD programs, Mayo allows students to complete both degrees in approximately seven to eight years instead of nine plus when each degree is completed separately. MD-PhD students first complete two years of MD academic requirements and then take their USMLE Step 1 exams before continuing on in one of four different graduate tracks. Mayo also offers the following dual programs. MD-MS in Science of Healthcare Delivery, MD-MAS in Health Informatics, MD-MS in Biomedical Diagnostics, MD Master of Mass Communications, MD MBA, MD JD, MD MS in Clinical and Translational Science, MD MS in Virology and Gene Therapy. Academic Curriculum The first and second year of the MD program are focused on two major subject blocks of coursework and applied learning clinical integration activities. One of Mayo Medical School's most inventive features is the use of what are called selective or self-directed elective blocks, which are one to two week blocks of time that, as the name suggests, allow students to engage in self-directed study or activities that help develop a sense of personal responsibility and interest in specializations. These blocks emphasize cultivating a sense of career direction and or personal exploration in various modalities, including research enhancements of clinical skills, professional skills development, and much more. Selectives also allow students to travel to and work at any of the other Mayo Clinic campuses, Arizona, Minnesota, or Florida, as well as other institutions within the Mayo Clinic health system. Selectives can be self-proposed or designed or chosen from available clinical experiences under the guidance of a mentor. Selectives also encourage students to both give and receive feedback on the experience, which helps them develop a greater sense of their strengths and weaknesses as novice medical professionals. 
the third and fourth year of the Mayo Clinic's Alex School of Medicine's MD program are, as with most MD programs, oriented around extensive clinical and applied work. These include required clerkships in family medicine, six weeks, internal medicine, six weeks, neurology, three weeks, obstetrics and gynecology, six weeks, pediatrics, six weeks, psychiatry, three weeks, surgery, six weeks. Admission statistics and eligibility. Overall acceptance rate, 1.4. In-state success rate, 1.3. Out-of-state success rate, 1.4. GPA, 3.92. MCAT, 520. The Mayo Clinic's Alex School of Medicine only admits students who are citizens or permanent residents of the United States or Canada at the time of application. However, if a student meets these criteria but currently resides elsewhere, they may also be granted admission. Students with refugee or asylee status are also considered eligible for admission. Unfortunately, foreign nationals who do not meet any of the above criteria are not eligible for admission regardless of visa or permit status. The Mayo Medical School does not have specific medical school prerequisites but recommends that applicants have a strong background in life and social sciences, including, but not limited to, biochemistry, biology, zoology, chemistry, physics, and social sciences. Successful lab work is also recommended in these fields, though there is no indicated number of hours. Additionally, Mayo Clinic's Alex School of Medicine recommends the following non-academic technical standards be demonstrated in applicants' materials. Communication, motor skills, intellectual, integrative, and quantitative abilities, behavioral attributes like good judgment, promptness, sensitivity, adaptability, toleration of taxing workloads, the ability to function under stress, and professionalism. Lastly, while the Mayo Medical School doesn't have especially concrete course requirements, they do require either a bachelor's or PharmD degree from an accredited college in the U.S. or Canada. There are no substitutes for this degree requirement. Selection Factors The Mayo Medical School chooses its first round interviewees based on six factors. Academic Performance, MCAT score and percentile, GPA, depth and breadth of extracurricular experiences like volunteering, research, and creative endeavors, personal statement, and letters of recommendation. As should be expected of a world-class medical school, admissions to the Mayo Medical School's MD program is extremely competitive. With an overall acceptance rate of just 1.4%, the odds are heavily against most applicants. Accepted applicants have a median MCAT score of 520 with the overall range for accepted applicants extending from 512 to 524. Successful applicants had a median cumulative GPA of 3.92, making the quantitative thresholds of admission especially competitive. There is, as most medical schools, a chance that a lower GPA can be offset by remarkably high MCAT scores and vice versa, but you should strive to achieve this GPA threshold. With these statistics in mind, Work to make your other application materials impeccable in order to offset any perceived weaknesses in your numerical statistics. Unlike the hard numbers of your GPA and MCAT score, your personal statement allows you to speak directly to the admissions committee and contextualize who you are and why you want to be a doctor. The personal statement is something you want to spend a lot of time drafting and editing. Give yourself at least eight weeks to craft a compelling statement. As any academic essay, your personal statement for medical school will have an intro, body paragraphs, and conclusion. Your body paragraphs should be based in two or three solid experiences that demonstrate your suitability for medicine. Remember, this is not a CV. You need to create a narrative, so limit your experiences to those you can talk about in detail. For MCAS personal statements, you will have only 5,300 characters to convince the admissions committee that you are the right fit for medicine. Students who pass through the primary application review are asked to complete a secondary application, which is composed of two elements, a medical school secondary essay 
and your ranking of four campus track options, which are Arizona four-year track, Minnesota four-year track, Arizona, Florida two plus two track, Minnesota, Florida two plus two track. The secondary essays are more specialized than personal statements and require responses of maximum 500 words to three prompts. Check out our blog for Mayo Medical School secondary prompts. I included a link in the description so you can easily find the blog. The Mayo Medical School only accepts letters of recommendation through the MCAS letter service. They cannot be sent directly to the school. Mayo requires three letters of recommendation or one composite or committee letter from a pre-med committee. All letters must be on official letterhead and have a handwritten signature by the letter writer. At least one of your letters must be from a science professor or at least a teaching assistant in the sciences. We recommend the former, but if you absolutely must rely on the latter, you should be fine. For any other letters, Mayo Medical School accepts letters from mentors, employers, and supervisors in both volunteer and other medical contexts. Successful applicants to the Mayo Medical School MD program typically have extensive relevant extracurricular involvement. In recent years, most matriculants displayed pre-med involvement in the following. Volunteering, 79%. Shadowing, 90%. Medical volunteering, 95% paid clinical work 34%, and research 96%. Keep in mind that while shadowing is only recommended by Mayo Medical School, you can see that 90% of this school's matriculants gain this important pre-med experience. This means that to increase your chances of acceptance, you must go above and beyond the requirements and recommendations listed by the school. Interview format. The Mayo Medical School utilizes a comprehensive interview day, which includes welcome sessions at one of three campuses, depending on your campus ranking in the second application, two one-on-one -on -one interviews lasting 30 minutes each, tour of campus, connecting with current students, and Q&A sessions. The two one-on-one -on -one interviews are the most important part of your interview day. They are conducted in traditional medical school interview format. Acceptance and waitlist information. Mayo Medical School makes their acceptance decisions following the completion of all applicant interviews and committee deliberations. Initial offers of acceptance are made in mid-February via phone call. Mayo utilizes a waitlist as well, and notifications for being placed on this list are sent just after the initial offers of acceptance go out. If chosen for acceptance from this secondary list, students should expect to receive notice between March and June. Of the approximately 300 waitlisted students, 40 or so are usually granted acceptance. If placed on the waitlist, Mayo Medical School welcomes significant updates to your application through their application portal. Additionally, the Medical School Letter of Intent is given extra scrutiny in waitlist decisions, making it an especially valuable application piece. Check out our blog to learn more about Mayo Medical School. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you would like us to help you get into Mayo Medical School, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about Mayo Medical School that I didn't cover in this video, just let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions. So comment below for a chance to win. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.